Welcome back, Red Force, to another lesson of mathematics. Let's have a look at the disclaimer. You all know this by now, but the work to be done during this PowerPoint and video presentation covers the work for mathematics for grade 4. This is proudly brought to you by Ms. Heidi Lovis. Okay, let's have a look at some calculations and the language of the calculation as well. The language is in the first column. The calculation to be used will be in the second column. Okay, sum of, increase by, altogether, more than, tells us we're going to work with addition. Difference, less than, decreases, drops, and minus tells us that we'll be using subtraction. Product of, times, and of are all examples of multiplication. Quotient, divisor, and dividend tells us we, that we are working with divide. When we double something, it tells us that we have to times 2. Half is the opposite thereof, so we have to divide by 2. Even numbers always end with a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And uneven number always ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Okay, the next part of this chapter introduces us to the properties of numbers. Once again, we have a column. It's a description, symbol, description, symbol. Please familiarize yourself with this table. You have to know the symbol for add together, divide, approximately, smaller than, greater than, subtract from each other, multiply, equal to, not equal to, and percentage. Okay, some important information is going to follow now. So remember... Zero times any number equals zero. Thus, zero times five is the same as five times zero, and that equals zero. Zero plus any number stays the same. The example is 12 plus zero is the same as zero plus 12, which equals 12. Zero is called the additive identity. We carry on with the important information, so remember the following as well. A number may not be divided by zero. Thus, 14 divided by zero is undefined. Whereas, zero divided by a number is zero. Thus, zero divided by seven is zero. One times a number stays the same. The example shows us that once 1 times 9 is the same as 9 times 1, which equals 9. And you have to remember that 1 is called a number's multiplicative. Whoa, here are some more interesting facts. Even numbers are always divisible by 2. Let's look at this quote. Zero on its own is not even or odd, negative or positive. Zero is just zero. Now you may ask me, but who said this? Well, it should have been someone clever. Okay. The last part of this chapter of properties of numbers, we're going to look at factors and multiples. Factors are all numbers that can divide into another number without a remainder. Thus, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, because all of those numbers can divide into 12. We write this as F12, open the bracket, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, and we close the bracket. Multiples, on the other hand, 
Multiples of a number are obtained by counting in a number. A number is always a factor and a multiple of itself. Thus, the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48. And we carry on with that to infinity by showing it by, with three dots. We write this as M12. We open the bracket. 12, 24, 36, 48, dot, 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 and close the bracket. I hope you enjoyed this video. A part two of properties of numbers will follow. You are more than welcome to follow our school on our YouTube channel, Facebook page, or visit the school website.